Looking at NASA's plans today, it's easy to think that going to the moon has become incredibly complicated. Multiple launches, orbital refueling, complex rendezvous, strange lunar orbits. Sometimes you can't help but wish we could use one rocket and just go straight to the moon. Funny enough, that idea already existed. And the crazy part is, it might actually be possible today with just a few changes to SpaceX's Starship. This is the idea of Nova Starship. How humans originally went to the moon. There are several ways humans can travel to the moon, but the first successful method was used during NASA's Apollo program. It's called Lunar Orbit Rendezvous. Instead of landing one giant spacecraft on the moon, Apollo used multiple spacecraft, each with a specific role. The combined spacecraft first entered low lunar orbit, about 100 kilometers above the surface. Once there, it split apart. The lunar module descended to the surface while the command module stayed in orbit. After completing the mission, the lunar module launched back into orbit, docked with the command module, and the crew returned home, leaving the lunar module behind. This method worked extremely well. It was first used during Apollo 11 in 1969 when Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon while Michael Collins remained in orbit. Every crewed moon landing through Apollo 17 used the same technique. Why? Because it was efficient. The entire spacecraft didn't need to land and take off, saving massive amounts of fuel. Artemis and Starship, Apollo, but bigger. Fast forward to today, NASA's Artemis program uses a similar concept. Astronauts launch aboard the SLS rocket in the Orion spacecraft, travel to lunar orbit, and then transfer to a separate lander. But this time, that lander is SpaceX's Starship HLS. Unlike Apollo's lunar module, Starship launches uncrewed, refuels in Earth orbit, and may require anywhere from 4 to 12 tanker launches to fully top it off. This approach is complex and expensive, but it offers something Apollo never had, over 100 tons of cargo delivered to the moon. Despite its potential, Artemis faces serious challenges, delays, cost overruns, and extreme operational complexity. So the question becomes, is there a simpler way? The forgotten alternative, direct ascent. Back in the 1960s, NASA and the Soviet Union studied another approach, the simplest one on paper, direct descent. One massive spacecraft, one launch, straight to the moon, land, take off, return to Earth, no rendezvous, no orbital assembly, no refueling in space. Everything happens in one continuous mission. But there was a problem. It required an enormous rocket. Project Nova, the rocket that never flew. To make direct ascent possible, NASA studied a super-heavy rocket called NOVA. NOVA would have been even more powerful than the Saturn V. Its most powerful design, the NOVA 8L, used 8 F-1 engines and could send up to 68 tons directly toward the moon. Some versions even explored solid rocket boosters, nuclear upper stages. Payload capacity ranged from 48 to 75 tons. Yet NOVA never left the drawing board. Why? Because NASA chose Lunar Orbit Rendezvous instead, allowing the Saturn V to do the job without building entirely new factories. Sometimes, history comes down to logistics. Enter Starship, Nova Reborn. Today, we may finally have Nova's modern equivalent, SpaceX's Starship. Its super-heavy booster uses 33 Raptor engines, producing more thrust than Nova ever could. Its upper stage also exceeds Nova's in raw power. And for lunar missions, Starship removes heat shields and Earth return hardware, dramatically reducing mass. If adapted for a Nova-style direct ascent mission, Starship could regain Nova's greatest advantage, a single launch moon mission. No refueling, no rendezvous, no orbital complexity, but major changes would be required. What would need to change? The biggest change is fuel usage. Starship is designed to be fully reusable, meaning it always reserves fuel to land back on Earth. A true direct ascent mission would burn nearly all available propellant just to reach and land on the moon. Interestingly, Elon Musk has suggested that a starship landing on the moon might never return, instead becoming a permanent lunar habitat. Adding a third internal stage, just like Nova, Starship's massive cargo bay could easily house it, allowing a final push toward the moon without major structural changes. How a direct ascent mission works. In a direct ascent mission, 
the spacecraft launches from Earth and accelerates hard enough to reach escape velocity, 11.2 kilometers per s. No Earth orbit. No parking phase. The spacecraft coasts for about three days, making minor course corrections. As it approaches the moon, it's moving over 1.6 kilometers per s relative to the surface. With no atmosphere to slow it down, the spacecraft begins a powered des.